Sidney Bechet, virtuoso soprano sax player, but <laughs> no mean clarinetist either. We've got a live one of those in the studio today, ladies and gentlemen. On clarinet, we've got Gilad Atzman, and on vocals and guitar, Sarah Gillespie. Take it away, guys. to hear a contemporary version of such an old song. That was written in 1923, wasn't it? Was, it was, yeah. And um, a credit crunch anthem for the crunch before the crunch before the yeah, one we've got now. Yeah, that was the, origin, the original crunch, it which was. is called the Depression. But the crunch to end all crunches. The, mm. Yeah, they call This it the crunch is pretty original as well, you know. <laughs> like, you know, when you think of all these politicians and bankers that pay each other, it's that's Pretty true. original. Yes, yes. I think we're, we're keeping up the level of creativity as far as crunches <laughs> yeah. go. Yeah, they called it the Great Depression, but it wasn't that great. Um, Sarah, you um, grew up listening to the likes of Bessie Smith, who popularised that number, mm -hmm. um, and, which is very uncharacteristic of someone of your generation. How did that happen? Um, well, um, my mum's American, so I grew up listening to blues and jazz, but actually it was my dad who had loads and loads, hundreds and hundreds of old records and he had the encyclopedia of all of Bessie Smith's music. And he loved that song, and he used to sing it when he was um, inebriated. And that's how, that's how I learned it. Did, did he sing it often? <laughs> he did, actually, yes. Mm. Fridays. The, oh, yeah, with Fridays. Yeah, it's yeah. Big, when big he was fired. Comes to us all. But you started writing songs very early yourself, didn't you? Yeah. Um, 
I was three when I started writing songs. That is early. But I thought it was really naughty, so I didn't tell anyone I was doing it. <laughs> Why did you say well, it was naughty? That's a big naughty? mistake. You know, we could start some, some material, you know. Big mistake. That's a good name for a number. Yeah. We might come to that in a moment. Why did you think it was naughty, though? I don't know. I was very small, and um, I thought that you're supposed to learn songs and repeat them as you've been taught them. I thought I was being a bit um, disobedient by making them up as I went along. And um, and then my parents eventually they bought me a, a keyboard piano when I was about eight, so then I could start playing playing them properly instead of walking around singing them a cappella. A cappella. <laughs> uh, uh, innocent people on the street. <laughs> That's what I did. A cappella is, of course, Latin for the band haven't 